Now that you're familiar with the mallet instruments, it's time to play some music. The first thing we're going to do is look at our surroundings. Just like on the piano, we had two black keys next to each other and three black keys next to each other. On this glockenspiel, we also have two keys next to each other and three keys next to each other. Remember, when you have two bars next to each other, the note right before it is C. Now that we know where C is, it's easy to know where D is. What comes after C in the alphabet? D. What comes before C in the alphabet? B. B also comes before C on the keyboard. We learned in the last lesson that if you lower a note the smallest amount possible, we call it by its flat name, B flat. Let's do some playing. Pull out your Mallet Melodies exercise paper. Number one is called Landmark C. Find Landmark C on your keyboard. Look for the two keys next to each other, and the one right below is C. Using this note, we can tell what's above C, D. We can also tell what's below C. This is B. Remember, anytime you have a note that is the smallest amount of distance below, we call that a flat version of that note. So this would be B flat. Now that you know where C is, you can find B flat, C, and D. These are the three notes that we need for landmark C, the first exercise. Let's play it. Every note in this exercise is a whole note, meaning you hold it for four counts. When you get to the last measure, make sure you repeat back to the beginning. Let's play it together. From now on, we're going to say the note names out loud. Ready? One and two and ready and go. C, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. B flat, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. B flat, two, three, four, and stop. Great job. If you need help on any of these exercises, please pause it and rewind and practice it over again. The next exercise is landmark F because we're going to learn a brand new landmark. Just like you can tell that C is right beneath these two bars, our landmark F is right beneath these three bars. We're going to use landmark F to tell what note is above it. So what letter is above F? G. And what is right below F? If you said E, that's correct. Remember, when we go down the smallest possible amount, we call it by its flat name. So this is E, this is E flat. Exercise two uses B flat, C, D, E flat, and landmark F, which we just learned. Also in exercise two, every note is a half note, meaning you hold it for two counts. But when you get to measure four, you hold that whole note for four counts. And when you get to the very last measure, there's another whole note, so make sure you hold it for four counts. When we get to the end, we will repeat back to the beginning. Keep on saying the note names with me. Ready? One and two and B flat, here we go. B flat, C, D, B flat, F, B flat, F, two, ready, go down. F, B flat, D, C, B flat, two, beginning, here we go. B flat, C, D, B e flat, F, B e flat, F, two, three, four, F, B e flat, D, C, B e flat, two, three, four. Nice job. 
The next exercise is high C. We're finally going to do something amazing and connect our low landmark C to the high landmark C. This is really going to connect the dots with you. On your keyboard, you have F, you have G, which is right above F. In the musical alphabet, after G, you repeat back to A. You already know this note, B flat. And you already know this note too. This is C. But this is high C. Notice it's right beneath the two bars. On this keyboard, there are three C's. You have this C, you have this C, and you have high, high C. Let's play this exercise together. And remember to say the note names. It has the same rhythm as the previous exercise. Ready? One and two and ready and go. F, G, A, B flat, C, B flat, C, two, three, four, C, B flat, A, G, F, two, beginning, here we go. F, G, A, B flat, C, B flat, C, two, three, four, C, B flat, A, G, F, two, three, four. Good. This next exercise is one of the coolest exercises you will ever learn on this instrument. This is our B flat.